Hello and welcome back to my RC channel. I'm Andy RC and today I have been doing a tuning session with the Ski Sky build that I did previously on the channel. Now you will be glad to note that I have got my confidence back with this thing. I got really bored flying it inside and just really close to me outside so I just went for it. One thing that I did discover though was that it didn't fly away on me which is good. Now one thing that worried me is there are people reporting that this flew away on them using a different transmitter. Now, I mentioned I wasn't sure whether it was the Ski Sky board that locked up or the Devo 7E, but other people are now reporting that theirs are flying away with any transmitter. So that got me thinking about the binding procedure of this quadcopter, because if you go back to the build video, I mentioned that I struggled to get it bind sometimes, and sometimes it would bind, sometimes it would take a second go. And what I have discovered is the best thing to do when it doesn't bind is just unplug it from the quadcopter. It should bind the first time and if it doesn't bind the first time then I would unplug this and try again and that has been working for me so far I haven't had any problems I've probably had about 10 flights with this now so I'll just show you so if you plug in the board like that and then turn your transmitter on what should happen is all those lights should go off and then if I change a flight mode we should get a blue light. Now when you get a blue light when you change into the flight mode that is when it is bound fine. In fact if I arm it you'll see no problems there at all. But what can happen is in fact I could probably demonstrate it now is if I turn this off not every time does it do that. Sometimes you can plug it in and turn the transmitter on and these lights continue to flash and it doesn't bind. I probably will do it now, but uh, there you go. It's done it this time. <laughs> I, it does it that often. And then what I found that I was doing is I was going into the transmitter, perhaps turning the transmitter off and back on, and then it would bind. And I'm wondering whether it's not getting a correct bind with that. So the best thing to do, I have found anyways, and hopefully this will stop the flyaways from happening, is if you unplug the quadcopter, turn it back on, turn the transmitter on, and we're waiting for all these lights to go off. Hopefully it will this time. There we go. And then, yes it's bound again. So yeah, that's something to watch out for. Now, I have spent all day tuning this thing. Now, I'm not the expert on tuning it, but I was noticing that when I was doing rolls and flips that it was bouncing when it was leveling out. So I upped the D a bit and I upped the I gain slightly and the P gain as well. In fact, I will put a screenshot here of my PIDs now if you're interested in that, if you want to copy them if you've built this. But I'm quite happy with it. It still does get some slight jitters, but I think I can put that down to the wind. It is a windy day today. So anyways, yeah, Enjoy the flight. This is the video from today. It was all done in rate mode, by the way. I have been getting used to rate mode. That's where there's no self-leveling at all, and you get much cleaner rolls and flips. It does take some getting used to, but I've been really enjoying it. So, enjoy the video. Hey! 